GCSE Biology 246, looking at how the alveoli are adapted for gas exchange by diffusion between air in the lungs and blood capillaries. So, gas exchange in the lungs is about oxygen in air going into the bloodstream and about carbon dioxide coming in the opposite direction. So we're adding oxygen to the blood and we're removing carbon dioxide. The process is called diffusion and that's because the gases move from a region of their high concentration to a region of low concentration and the process is passive it does not require energy the molecules are moving down the concentration gradient so if we take a look at that in a diagram of the alveoli alveoli are the dead end structures of the bronchioles so let's draw a bronchiole here and the end of the bronchial becomes expanded to form the alveoli and around the alveoli is are lots and lots of blood vessels like this so the adaptations the ways to make the exchanges of gases more efficient are first of all that if we add together the total surface area of alveoli it amounts to somewhere in the region of 18 meters squared this is a considerable surface area to have packed into your thorax so there's our first adaptation and this is achieved because the alveoli are small the second adaptation is the dense network of blood vessels to pick up the gases like oxygen and to deliver the carbon dioxide. The third feature is that if we look at the walls of the alveoli, the cells that make up the walls of the alveoli, they're very thin indeed. So number three thin alveoli walls. Now this means that we get fast diffusion because the distance to diffuse is very short. The third feature is that the inside wall, uh, the fourth feature rather, is that the inside wall of the alveoli is moist number four it's moist and this allows the gases to dissolve more easily and this accelerates and makes diffusion happen faster so the four adaptations are large surface area dense network of capillaries thin alveoli walls for fast diffusion and moist walls for for the fast uh, dissolving of gases. Let's look at a real image of the alveoli taken with the light microscope and we can see that the image that I drew above is very idealized. I'll just try and point out some of the key structures here. This is the wall of the alveoli. Very very thin. The red represents blood vessels and blood cells. If you look at the diagram very carefully in this region here you can see the erythrocytes, the red blood cells very very small and look at the, di the distance between the air space here and the red blood cell. And this is true all over the diagram so here we have air here and the red blood cells are here and the walls are incredibly thin for fast 
diffusion. So we have a dense network of blood, blood vessels, we have very short diffusion distances, we have very, very big total surface area, and of course, in addition to this, we have the moist surface of the alveoli, which can't be seen in this particular image. So once more, the adaptations are one, large surface area number two dense network of capillaries that means there's a lot of capillaries number three thin alveoli walls so that we have fast diffusion and number four, they are moist, the inside walls of the alveoli are moist, so that the gases can dissolve quickly, so we get fast gas dissolving, and that means that they diffuse much quicker. These are the adaptations of the alveoli for gas exchange.